You see my foot? Is it there? It's here. Hello? Is it the truth that my foot's here? Yes? Yes. Hear an amen? Amen. I have one foot. True? Do I have two feet? Why not? Is the truth that I have three feet? Is it true that if you believe for 80 years that I have three feet, that I'll have three feet? Does your faith in that context determine reality? Is it possible just because you see one foot doesn't mean I have another one? What if I have two? What if you're wrong? What if you believe only what you see and you never believe what you see, yet you would be wrong if you told me Nick has one foot? You would be wrong. True? Well, one thing you don't want to get wrong is knowing who God is and why you're here and who you are and where you're going when you're not here. Is that true? I'm going to introduce you to my little foot right here, little junior. Hello. Everybody say absolute. When you have an absolute truth, that means it's going to work for every single person in every situation at any given time. True? I want to share with you the truth is Jesus Christ. I want to share with you how he's changed my life and how he's going to change yours forever. My name is Nick Vujicic. I'm 26 years old. I'm pretty short for my age. This is my BMW 7 Series. I'm going to send it to pin my ride. You know what I'm saying? I want to get this whole wheelchair bouncing on. Bah, 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 bah. Roll down the window, stick my arm out. You know what I'm saying? Not at the front window, the back window. You know how they whoo? Sort of heads in the back seat, but they're driving the car. I don't know what's with that. So cool. I was in the car one day. When you see me from the outside of the vehicle, you have no idea that I have no arms, no legs, right? All you see is my gorgeous face. <laughs> and so with the traffic lights one night and this car comes up next to us and this girl's looking at me. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I look at her and she looks at me and I grab the seatbelt in my mouth to loosen it like this. So then I can freely move. Now knowing that she only sees my head, all I did was this. I spoke, uh, I spoke 300 times last year. Everybody say 300. Sparta. Did war 300 times and um, took about 120 flights. And every time I get on a flight, I always hope for a spare seat next to me for the extra leg room. You know what I'm saying? So my friends one day put me in the overhead compartment. It was my idea. I wanted to freak someone out. So I did. They wanted to handcuff me. You want to hear a couple more? I realized that if I want to space it on the plane, all I have to do is dress up in a pilot's uniform and greet the passengers as they get on the plane. Hello, sir. How you doing? Great. great. I'm your pilot today. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Hey, just do what I do. Just hold on with both hands. Okay. <laughs> this boy comes up and he says, What happened? Went up to him and I go, Cigarettes. <laughs> One more. This one little girl, she must have been watching movies about aliens or something. She looked at me, she freaked out, man. 
It was so funny. She was like, <gasps> Mommy, look, it's an alien. A little offended, I went, Rah! She was like, Ah! I'm running after her saying, I'm going to eat you. you know? Shall we? Let's get into it. I was born in Australia 26 years ago to Christian parents who started a church who preached about God's love and then their son was born without limbs. No medical reason why I was born this way. No warning either. My mum had three ultrasounds done and God hid from them the fact that their firstborn son was going to be born without arms and legs. I have a brother and a sister born after me, both with arms and legs. And I have 29 first cousins who also have limbs and no deficiencies to any point, physically speaking. <laughs> I love my family. I grew up in church singing, Jesus loves me this I know for the... And then singing the other song where it says, Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. And then on Monday morning, I went to school. And I said, God, if you love me like you love the other children, then why did you give me less? If you're this loving God, why? Do you let people die every day of malnutrition, poison water? They just found a boat, this is real, off the coast of an island. 400 children found on board shipping from China to Brazil for organ harvesting. Why does God let sex slavery happen? I went to countries where it's legal to kill disabled children. I've been to countries where if a baby has as little as a rash, they bury it alive because they believe by culture. Subconsciously, when you have pain, we sort of think, well, at least I've got, you know, at least I, I'm not like Nick Vujicic. You know, many people say, well, man, I can't imagine what you're going through. You know, I spoke, I've spoken to 350 schools in the last seven years. And one teacher came up to me and said, Nick, I'm so thankful that you spoke to our kids. They think they know what pain is. I said, they do. They do. Pain is pain. Brokenness is brokenness. Fear is the biggest disability of all and will paralyze you more than you being in a wheelchair. 